Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today we're doing the weekly oracle card guidance and we're using the Australian Wildflower oracle cards. Go ahead and make your selection. We have option one, two and three and you can go down to the timestamp which will take you directly to your reading. I hope you have a good reading. So for those of you who've chosen the option number one, we're asking what is it that we need to know in this week? What is our guidance as we go along in this week? So the card we have here is the Royal Bluebell and it's titled Generosity. So I feel here that it's important in this week as you go along to be generous with others. Be generous with others in the way in which you understand them, in the way in which um, you give them the space to be understood. Uh, giving people a bit the benefit of the doubt, not necessarily judging someone too acutely or too um, um, severely but rather giving people the benefit of the doubt there, there might be a sense that you know you're confronted with some um, experience which makes you very uncomfortable or unhappy within a particular context and the advice here is to to be generous to be graceful in the way in which you go about managing the situation or handling yourself within the situation I feel here that um, the overriding energy is that of peace. It's almost as if there's a feeling of being tired and not having the energy to fight any longer and then simply to succumbing. But this is not succumbing to something that's negative or something uh, that is that is not something that you'd like to accept. It's not as if you are saying, well, you know, I don't like what's happening to me right now, and but I'm going to just accept it because I just don't have the energy any longer. It's more like you're saying, um, you know what, I see what's actually happening right now and I, it's not what I want. It's not, I'm not happy with the situation, but rather I'm going to deal with this in a more generous way. And what they mean by that is, you know, to employ all your, the wisdom that you have to be able to deal with the situation, to employ all the grace that you have and dignity that you have to hold your head up high during this moment and to be able to say, well, I respect myself and I respect the other and the way in which I will manage the situation is with respect for the other as well as for myself, whether that other is a person or an institution or, or simply a situation that you find yourself in. This card tells me that, you know, you don't need to stand out in the situation. It's okay to have a quiet a resistance to the matter or to be able to to manage this without bringing or drawing too much of attention to yourself and to the situation, to deal with it quietly. And whereas you might be feeling uh, quite um, emotional or quite, you know, you quite might have quite an intensity of emotion with regard to this, it's okay to deal with it in a quieter manner. So if you have some kind of ailment as well during this time, it's okay to deal with it in a less uh, aggressive manner or to deal with it in a less dramatic fashion. It's almost as if this card is saying blend in with the others. It's saying be a part of the others and uh, don't don't draw too much of attention to yourself. So this week it's it's as if it's saying, well, you know, stand up for yourself, but don't draw too much of attention to yourself. Stand up for yourself, but be graceful and generous in the way in which you uh, understand the other's perspective. Take into account the other person's perspective. Bring in a great deal of compassion and empathy in this uh, and be willing to take them on board with you. Be willing to um, understand and to appreciate uh, all that they have to offer as well. Be willing to see the other's perspective, even if it's a perspective that antagonizes you. What I see here is uh, you having the strength to be able to manage the situation really well. So it's almost as if you have been dealt this uh, set of cards before and you've been, you know, you've, you've had this experience before, but now you've grown up a little bit more, you've had more experience. And so you can actually deal with the situation a little bit differently than you would have a few months ago or a few years ago or a decade ago. 
I would like to just go ahead and read what the card has to offer here. So it says, the royal emblem of the Australian Capital Territory. This creeping plant grows to about 40 centimeters. The flowers are blue to deep purple and tubular. They are about two to three centimeters across and the pointed petals form a delicate star. Royal bluebell is found from the ACT through Victoria and flowers mainly in spring, summer and the early autumn. The message is, you will find that an act of generosity will make all the difference in shifting energies. Don't dismiss even the small tokens made towards you and look to ways you can be more generous with your time and energy. Holding everything within and not being open to sharing your good fortune or wisdom will only promote fermentation and staleness. The flow of energy is what creates abundance, growth and balance. Are there problems right now surrounding this? Now is the time to open your heart and trust again and an act of generosity will be a positive start. The challenge of Royal Bluebell is greed and being over generous for the wrong reasons. You can't buy integrity or friendships. As a healer, Royal Bluebell softens hardline thinking and opens the heart. So I feel that this is quite a pertinent message. In fact, it feels very much in alignment with the energies that I'm channeling to you right now. And I want to highlight this bit here. It says, you know, now is the time to open your heart and trust again. An act of generosity will be a positive start. The, the challenge of the Royal Bluebell is greed and being over generous for the wrong reasons. Um, you can't buy integrity or friendships. As a healer, uh, Royal Bluebell softens heartline thinking and opens the heart. So I feel here that the tendency this week is to be a hard line in your thinking. And this is why this card's come up to be able to tell you or to assure you that it's okay not to be that way. It's okay not to take the hard line this week. It's okay to be softer and more graceful in the way in which you take what's coming your way. So that is your message for those of you who've chosen the option number one today. I hope that has been a helpful message. I hope that resonates. And um, I feel it's also very much in alignment with the energy at the moment. And so it's, um, it's yeah, I hope that actually helps you as you go along. Let me know if it resonates and let me know how you guys are doing. All right, sending you many blessings and I'm moving on to the next option. So for those of you who've chosen the second option here, we're asking what is our weekly oracle guidance? What is the weekly oracle guidance? What is it that I need to know as I go along this week? The card we have here is called Turkey Bush and the caption is Inspiration. So I feel here that there is a kind of excitement that's being felt this week for you. It's like you feel a, a, a new um, burst of energy that's underlying and there's quite a lot of energy. There's quite a lot of brightness. Uh, it's like wide eyed and, and bushy tailed kind of excitement where you're open and willing and um, optimistic about the future but not just optimistic but expecting something really good to come your way and already being in that vibration where you are enjoying the goodness that's coming into your life and it's almost like you have to be um, you know quite hot-blooded in this moment and quite um, um, robust in the way in which you go about accessing this information so I feel like as the week goes on, there is a lot of opportunity to be inspired. There's a lot of opportunity to move ahead with these uh, emotions and, and uh, you know, just be quite, um, um, quite free in yourself and quite spontaneous in the way in which you use your energy. I want to say that there is, an, I wouldn't call it a caution, but the guidance rather uh, for this time is that you don't spread yourself too thin even though you may feel like you'd like to there may be an inclination to do too many things at once and to um um to 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 be drawn up with this energy and just be taken for a ride but even though it's a really great energy and you're feeling very uh, positive and you are seeing how things can move along and how things can work out positively for those around you that actually it's um, it's a time where 
if you do too much, you might find that you exhaust yourself or you, you, you become fatigued or you suffer from some kind of exhaustion, like an illness, and you, you put yourself out. Um, you know, you might have something like putting your back out or just being so exhausted that you, you can't quite think straight and you feel like a little bit delirious. So this energy this week, it feels like a del delirious kind of energy. It feels like a feverish kind of energy, like a lot going on. And also that the sense here is there's a lot of positivity ahead and there's a lot of positivity that's underlying you. It's like you're riding a wave that's just positivity and there's another wave coming underneath you and that's going to just, you know, it's a second wave that's going to just push you forth and you can feel that coming through and you, you're you just going with it and this is excellent momentum. But um, the advice here is actually to, to streamline this and to be able to focus on one thing and make headway with that one thing or two things but not do too many things at once so if you've taken advice in one of the other readings that I've gotten this week uh, where it says you know don't uh, put well go ahead and multitask do many things um put yourself in in many different uh situations and and allow yourself to gain it through many different opportunities then this card is saying well just for this week here take it easy and um, um, well don't really take it easy but rather just for this week don't push yourself too hard focus on one thing or two things and don't bend yourself backwards don't bend over backwards to be able to push yourself so hard that you can't actually get what what it is that you need however take the inspiration and work with that and you might also be inspired here to build new ideas so do you have a new idea for a manuscript or do you have a new idea for a song or piece of music that you'd like to compose or do you have something else a new a business idea that you want to put into action it's saying here that there are other ideas which are more mature and more developed which may be taking a bit of strain but new ideas have a great uh, momentum to them and you can really just um, give it a go, begin it and put a lot of energy behind it this week and it's okay to do that. It's okay to give those older projects, the more mature ones, a break, the ones where you're feeling a bit tired, a bit burnt out, a break and um, and just focus on something new for the moment. And this isn't necessarily just to do with projects but also to do with an area of your life. You know, if you've been thinking, okay, uh, I want to move and uh, I'd like to do that and you've been telling yourself that for the last year or two years or however long and it's not been happening then this card is saying well basically take a moment from that and, and don't consider it for a moment just consider about uh, consider your creativity right now because there's something about your creativity right now that is going to take you a little bit further and it's going to give you the energy and the momentum to go not just this week but also in the following weeks as well so this is i think really a card of inspiration it's got a very high energy and i'm a little bit tired so i'm not um exuding that right now uh, but uh, it really has uh, like a great momentum a great energy and a, and a wave of inspiration that's coming forth i'd like to go ahead and read the message from the card from the book as i've done so with the other card as well So here we have turkey bush and the caption is inspiration. A grub or tree that grows to four meters found in the top end region of the Northern Territory. And this is uh, of Australia. The flowers are pink to mauve, sometimes white, 20 millimeters wide and form an open star-like appearance with long hairs extending from the calyx. Turkey bush flowers in, in late autumn and spring. It is known as Anbandar by the local indigenous Australians. Anbandar is what it's known as. The name Turkey Bush is thought to refer to the way the plains Turkey of the region seeks shelter within it from hunters. Inspiration is all around you right now. Make sure you don't let the subtle messages pass you by. If you find yourself stuck in some way or on a plateau take a leap of faith and go with that thing that is nudging you your higher self is calling and you should listen there are fantastic opportunities for those who work in areas of creativity but you need to, to, to act to make it a reality the time is right to start working on those dreams as a challenge turkey bush warns of pipe dreams hindering real progress and disconnection from your higher self 
as a healer, Turkey Bush enables greater creative expression and is a creative block mover. So I actually love these messages in this book because it's really aligning with the channel message and or maybe I'm aligning with the channel message in the book here. But what I like about this is that um, it's exactly, basically, it's ex both messages that I've spoken of so far have actually gotten exactly the, the channel message that I have. And I hadn't read this before. So I want to say here that, you know, when I look at these flowers here, I feel like this is a project that you've had for a long time and it's almost been wearing you out. And this is something that's like newer and it's... Um, you know you still have a fair deal of momentum but there's a new project here and don't be afraid to actually just go with this and this card here it talks about you know having um a, your higher self is calling and you should listen and i feel this project or this thing here is your is it's it's you know the inspiration that's coming from your higher self and it's worthy to give it a look it's worthy to actually take some action with regard to that and actually not to let yourself be hindered or be burnt out by something that's not really moving along as it should right now so i just want to say thank you very much for um coming to this reading and i'm wishing you a great week as you go along so we're asking what is our guidance for this week what is our guidance as we go along in this week? And what is it that you've come here to hear today? So we have the card Rabbit Orchard and the card is titled Abundance. Okay. So this is so interesting because I feel like usually there's one card that talks about the energy of the week, you know, and I, I've mentioned this in the last couple of weeks now that the, the energy vibrations, uh, much of what I talk about in the energy forecast kind of align itself with at least one card in, um, in the readings. But this week, all three cards have aligned um, with the message, with, with that message. Um, and we have the card of abundance. And what this is showing me is that there is a lot of opportunities around you right now where you can easily go about making money. So if that is your concern, this is something it's saying you just need to look beyond yourself here. You just need to look beyond whatever has been, has been hindering you. And I feel in this situation, um, this is all this abundance is there and it's overlapping and it's coming your way in, at quite a momentum, quite a thrust. And what is actually what, what this card is showing me is that there's this situation where you might be stopping yourself from being able to access it. And so the advice for this week is to say, well, go ahead and partake of this abundance that's coming your way. It's a gift for you. Go ahead and just partake of that. And actually what you can find is that um, as you go along, if you're having difficulty accessing that abundance, that perhaps what the th what it is that you need to do is um, simply to see where it is that your own thoughts hinder you. You know, in some situations, what's actually hindering you is that um, some kind of idea that you have about yourself or some kind of perception that you have about yourself or the world. Now, this may not be something that you actually realize or that you're actually in touch with directly because, you know, it's a second nature to you. But um, you might have had something that has come up in the recent while that gives you or alerts you to where you might be hindered or where you might be hindering yourself by your own thoughts. And you might have resisted that when it's come up because you would you, you won't possibly won't believe this about yourself if somebody has to tell you about this because you don't see yourself in that particular light. But uh, here I feel that you the, these kind of things are like what's hindering you. It's like all these thoughts, it's distortion of, of thoughts that is actually hindering you from actually accessing the abundance. And if you could just um, get beyond yourself, get beyond the way in which you think about something, What's actually going to happen is that you're going to be able to partake of that and there's just going to be blue skies after that and there's going to be, you know, good things that come and it's it's like a, an abundance of good things. It's like um, like an everlasting goodness. It's like an 
infinity uh, of good things. And so it can only be good, but you need to be able to release something that's been hindering you. And the thing that I feel here that's been hindering you is the way in which you see yourself. It's the way in which you see others and the way in which you define yourself. So go ahead and make a list of, of things that you use, terms perhaps that you use to, to define yourself so that you can actually understand where it is that you are hindering yourself. You know, perhaps you see yourself in a particular light uh, because of the education that you have or because of the education that you don't have or because of the um, kind of um, 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 suburb that you live in or because of a type of uh, city that you live in or you see yourself in a particular light because of um, the race that you are or the culture that you come from. And, um, you know, you've placed yourself in a particular situation as a result and it's it's like you it's it's almost like a roof over your head and you're not able to break through that to be able to access the real abundance uh, which lies just beyond so this abundance lies just beyond it's within your reach but it's up to you to be able to break through the barriers to be able to get to that point so what is it that you believe about yourself that's stopping you from actually reaching your abundance and the examples i gave are quite simple ones quite um um, you know, basic ones, but it could be that you see yourself as being not available to your abundance because of um, who you are within uh, your, your country or your specific environment, or you might see yourself as uh, not um, being, um, having, not having access to abundance because you were born on the wrong side of town or, or something like this. And, uh, or because, you know, your education defines you in a particular way or because of your work experience in the past has defined you in a particular way. And so it cuts you off from other kinds of abundance. But I want to say here that it's just your own thinking right now that's cutting you off from that kind of abundance. And if you could just get beyond your thinking, then you will have this abundance at your doorstep, at your feet. Uh, so to say. So in the other cards, I found quite a great synchronicity between the message that I channeled and the message that's in the book. So I want to go ahead and just read for you um, the the message in, in this book here today. So once again, it's... Um, the card is titled Rabbit Orchard and the um, uh, caption is Abundance. So the card is, the, the plant is, or the flower is native to Western Australia. This plant grows up to about 30 centimeters. It flowers from uh, spring to early summer. The rabbit orchard will flower more prolifically under after a fire and in some areas will not bloom at all unless it has been through a burn. Um, this little orchard is one to three centimeter wide on a plant between 10 to 30 centimeters high. Each flower has white sepals or sepals and a pink and white central structure with long pink to deep red petals that look like rabbit ears, giving this flower its name. The tubers of this plant are used as food source by indigenous Australians. A substantial improvement in reward are indicated Business and career matters are in focus right now, so you may want to apply for that promotion, new job, or enroll in a course that supports your goals. Fertility is also heightened. Issues surrounding birth, growth, focus, commitment to creation are favorable for the most part. You must be willing to do the work, though, and be open to getting out of your comfort zone. Issues around family are important right now. Make sure everyone is being heard and supported. The challenges of the rabbit orchard are over enthusiasm and unfocused spontaneous actions be very mindful too of not overspending right now as a healer it assists with fertility abundance issues and supports those needing to release negative thoughts in general so i think here um it's i feel like you need to simply get beyond yourself to be able to access this abundance and also you know i i feel like um whatever it is that you need to do right now to be able to activate that abundance in your life is actually going to be brought to your attention you're going to be advised about it it's going to be brought to your attention perhaps somebody's going to say something to you um, that it, you might see as a criticism or a judgment but it's actually something that's going to help you to work on yourself or somebody's going to question you or be like the devil's advocate um, in some kind of way and you're going to need to 
to understand where that's coming from and see beyond that in like uh, you know um just be able to understand what the reason is that something is is happening in a certain way not take it at face value you know very often uh, things happen and we take it at face value and we have an emotional reaction to what's actually happening at the moment but actually what needs to be seen is the value behind it the lesson in what it is so I want to say that if you are if you have any lessons that are coming your way right now simply be able to work with it and leave behind anything that's holding you behind in uh, your search for abundance or your way your 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 so that you can move ahead and you can have that free path as you as you move along I want to say now that um, the energy at the moment is really abundant. It really brings a lot of opportunities your way. So just be open to that and allow yourself to move ahead with that in, in the best way you, that you can. I hope that this reading has been helpful to you. I know it's a pretty short reading today and I hope that it um, it gives you the information that you need as you go along and that you can actually benefit from this. I'm wishing you all very well as you go along. And um, yes, please stay safe, stay healthy and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.